welcome back to another video. I am so sorry for the time period that I have been off of YouTube. I apologize to my subscribers that I have so far and I'm glad that you guys still support me. But I have been gone for a while and it's not good, okay? It's been so long. I feel like I haven't posted since like november of 2019 and it is now march well the end of march is about to be april tomorrow it's like super 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 insane how long i've been gone so i have a lot to share with you guys as you can see by the title so let's jump right into it so starting in december so in december of 2019 as you guys um may have heard from my previous videos when i did post back in november I graduated from college. So I graduated from Penn State University, Berks campus, um, in December, uh, December 20th to be exact. And that was an amazing time for me. I was so happy to be out of there. We'll get into that in another video on why I'm so happy to be gone from Penn State Berks other than graduating. Yeah. That day, it was a lot going on. I was up campus alone getting dressed, getting ready for graduation. As I go through this video, you're going to hear me referring to my fiance as my boyfriend because I haven't quite gotten used to it yet. It's only been three months, four months, so I'm still like interchanging the words boyfriend and fiance. So I'm in my dorm room. It's a bunch of stuff still around that I have to pack up the next day which was saturday and take home so it's just everything laid around in my room some stuff packed up some stuff laid out so i make sure i got my graduation gown i make sure i got my outfit my heels my jewelry everything i need in order to leave uh, the campus to go to graduation once that happens i put my graduation gown inside the shower and i turn the shower on and i let it steam to take out the wrinkles because I didn't want to take the chance of ironing it and messing it up on the day of graduation like everything is so last minute I didn't steam it before like I did it that day um probably an hour before graduation started so all that stuff passed um, I make a couple phone calls talking to some friends um seeing how the venue is talking to my family talking to my fiance and everything and then I get dressed I call my fiance letting him know hey I'm about to go um you know head out about to get in the uber go to the center for graduation because it was at an arena this year instead of our campus so i call an uber we're driving to graduation it probably was like 12 minutes away from campus like it wasn't far at all so i arrive at the building i come in i see my teachers i see my fellow classmates i see my fellow campus friends or people whatever you want to call them and you know we're all just excited we're all nervous like oh my god we're about to walk out we're about to graduate like we're about to enter the adult world whatever so they give us this little pin thing that says uh seniors or whatever um that we're supposed to put on our gown so we did that and then i went to my designated area so they set up the they set up the um seats where we were sitting before we entered into the graduation with everybody in the audience, um, we sat in our designated majors. So if you don't know, if you're new to my channel or is this your first video that you're viewing, I was a kinesiology major. Uh, that is a bachelor's degree in kinesiology that I graduated with from Penn State. Um, so yeah, we sat in each major, you know, business and nursing and health and this and that so we sat in our designated areas and we waited for about a good hour and a half before graduation started honestly was it an hour and a half no it probably was like an hour i probably arrived at like six six yeah i probably arrived at like six six thirty and then the graduation didn't start till seven thirty and even though they said it started at seven thirty we didn't get up to walk to like 15 minutes after seven thirty so we're about to line up we're just sitting and talking with our classmates or whatever who are graduating with the typical college graduation is they do the keynote speaker they do the valid victorian speech um they do our teachers speaking they do the president um my commencement wasn't that exciting you know whatever it was a basic graduation um the most exciting part for me would have to be you know seeing my family afterwards or when I walked across the stage with my diploma um and everybody's screaming your name you're just so excited and you're filled with so much joy that you know you spent four years at a university and 
you did it you completed you know your bachelor's degree all that was going through my head was don't fall because i had on six inch heels i was like don't fall please don't embarrass yourself because i am a klutz okay i was trying not to fall so bad but i ended up slipping just a little bit but you couldn't tell from sitting in the audience or like the people sitting right there that was graduating with you so it was just like a little oh let me catch myself you know so once that was done um i was so happy i walked down the steps sat back in my seat to finish the commencement all my friends with all that stuff and i'm gonna insert some pictures here for you guys so you can see me on graduation that was that was the graduation like it wasn't nothing special i'm excited that i graduated the thing that i am excited about uh, for graduation was my graduation cap i think it was ugh, it's so pretty okay that is it says future l and d nurse so the l and d nurse hold on this comes off it's messed up y'all gotta see it right honey so basically the it's l and d for labor and delivery nurse that's what i want to do that's what i'm going um to pursue now it's been a while um i've been out of school since december but i am studying for my nursing entrance exam and stuff like that so that's what i want to do with my life i just think it's really cute and i'm proud of it i'm keeping it of course it took about two almost three hours to make it has like little um onesies for a boy and a girl and then like little cotton swabs that move uh pill bottles and stuff like that little gauze so yeah I am really proud of this and that's why I kept it. I think I'm going to keep it forever. Honestly, I like to keep stuff. In terms of the next topic, which I will be talking about, is my birthday party slash engagement slash graduation party. So, this was supposed to be a surprise, right? I eventually figured out that it was going on because some things needed my input. Um, I only knew that it was a graduation slash birthday party, which turned into my engagement so um here's the ring i'm going to show you guys before i get into it so basically so, it turned into an engagement um because of my now fiance so, he told me that he's been planning to propose to me since october of 2019 he started looking at rings i think and we used to send pictures of rings back to each other he would ask me hey what kind of ring would you like but this happened way before october like we've been doing this since our like third or fourth year in a relationship um, i didn't think anything of it when he started sending me rings and we send him rings like for like that's what we do like that's a norm for us so the day of the party he's running around getting everything ready he's taking phone calls making sure the venue is set up correct making sure people is there making sure the food all that stuff is there he's 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 handling everything along with my family they're also handling things so i'm home about to get ready um about five o'clock i say four thirty five o'clock i go to get my makeup done by a makeup artist um also in philadelphia so i travel there to get my makeup done everybody else is at the house getting everything ready i come back home um once my makeup is done my hair is done nails toes everything's good and then i wear put on my dress we're getting dressed um me and his sister lizzie there she's helping me you know get dressed and everything while she's getting dressed because she's gonna ride with me to the party and walk in you know before i walk into the to the venue so he comes in the door and he rushes upstairs mind you he was supposed to be at the venue prior to me so he walks in um he's like a little flustered and whatnot i'll go in there i'll talk to him because i noticed like he's a little a little flustered i'm like well, what's wrong he's like nothing just trying to get everything together of course he's not gonna ruin it and say hey like i'm proposing and like things are going bad so he's not telling me anything so he's making a couple phone calls he's getting dressed and then he leaves so me and his sister finally are dressed um we go downstairs uber finally comes i go get an uber first now we're waiting for his sister i have my purse i have everything together so where the venue is it's like one big building and it was a pizza shop on the side of the building so they told me hey don't come in yet we're still getting a couple things together we're gonna call you or call liz 
when it's time to come into the venue. We're just talking, you know, chilling. Mind you, everybody know what's going on. Everybody know he's going to propose in our family, except for the guests. I don't think the guests knew. I just think the people in his mom's household, his sisters, his brothers, his cousins, everybody knew he was going to propose. So they start playing music. We start dancing. All my friends started to dwindle in and stuff like that after my after my entrance. Um, a couple of my friends were there, Diamond and Kiera. They were there already. All my family and friends was there. All his family and friends was there. So it was really like, it was nice, you know. It was it was a really good, you know, party. Um, They had like an itinerary. So people, um, all my friends, all my family and stuff, some of them came up um, to speak to me and say things, you know, nice about me and how we've been friends for a while and stuff like that. And then, you know, they go sit back down. Then we eat and all that. And then we're standing up there and my cousin asks... After my dad came up, his mom came up, um, a couple of my friends. My cousin asked, you know, does anybody else have anything else to say before we move on into, you know, the party? And Malik was like, no, because I looked at him. And he was like, no, I ain't nothing to say. And then I turned around. I'm like, okay, well, we're about to start dancing again. But by this time, I'm already a little tipsy, right? He comes from, he's right here. So he comes around, and I turn to him like this, and we're talking. Oh, he's talking to me, and he was like, you know, everybody be quiet. I got something to say, whatever. And I wasn't thinking anything of it, guys, because of the simple fact that I was a little drunk. I was a little tipsy, okay? And I didn't know what was going on. Like, I wasn't paying attention that he might propose tonight. Like, that was not on my mind whatsoever. So, he, you know, says, I'm going to butcher this because I don't fully remember because I was drunk. But, um, he was like, uh, we've been, been together for 80 months, if you don't know. Um, so, to signify that 80 months, I got her 80 red roses. So, then his little brother comes around with the 80 red roses roses the 80 red roses guys so he um gives me his little brother gives me the 80 roses and i'm just holding them and then i passed them to his mom because they were heavy and i wanted to you know be here with him when he's talking to me um, we've been together so, for 80 months i love you all this stuff and then i'm sorry but i don't remember everything i'm sorry bae um but then he reaches into his pocket right and he pulls out a gold rose which is this thing he pulls out a gold rose right now i didn't know what this was the reason that i thought it wasn't a proposal is because his mom he got his mom a glass rose that just is like a decoration and it sits inside a little vase thing in the bathroom i didn't think that it was anything i thought he was giving me a gold rose to say hey you know it's a gold rose like uh here you go like this is for future to come never ever in a million years thought that that day he was going to propose to me at all so he pulls out the gold rose everybody starts screaming and going crazy when me i'm just sitting there like okay it's a gold rose like i'm just dumb as crazy like okay so when he put out the gold rose i stepped back because he went in his pocket but then i stepped forward again because i didn't think it was anything i thought it was a rose so he gets down on one knee, honey, okay? He gets down on one knee, and he proposes with the ring. He proposes with the ring in there, right? So I'm like, okay, all right. I start jumping around, going crazy. I'm like, oh, my God, he proposed, and stuff like that. I do have a video that I'm going to insert from that night. Once he proposed, I was just, you know, so hyped, so happy, so excited, like, yeah, he proposed, or whatever. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much that. You know, we hugged, we kissed, and then we went back to enjoying our night and partying. I hope you guys enjoyed this life update and everything that's going on. Glad that you guys tuned in. I hope you come back for more videos, and thanks for watching. Bye.